Hi, my name's John Price, and this is a short video on playing a bridge contract. And here, we're just about to play a contract of four hearts. Let's just see how things worked out. Okay, so now we know what the situation is. My hand is down at the bottom. My partner, he has got three hearts. Well, that's, that's good. Um, a, uh, an ace of spades, that's excellent. Um, Queen Jack of diamonds is going to fit nicely. Okay, first thing to do is to plan a campaign of how we're going to run this contract. Let's count how many top tricks we've got. Well, we've got one in clubs, that's the ace of clubs. One in diamonds, we've got the ace. One in spades, we've got the ace. And one in hearts. That's four top tricks, and we're in a contract of four hearts. So we need to find a lot more tricks. Where might these come from? Well, let's go over to the clubs. Could we make that queen of clubs? Well, there's a half a chance of making that. If I lead towards the queen, then if south on my left has got the king of clubs, he'll have to play it, and then I'll win the queen later on. If north has got the king, it'll get slapped on top of my queen, so I won't win that extra trick. So there's half a possibility from there. How about diamonds? Well, diamonds have been led, and I think that's going to be good. I'm going to play either the queen or the jack. It doesn't really matter which. So what if south has got the king of diamonds? Ha! Well, I'll win the queen, and then I'll win the ace, but he'll still win the king. Hmm. What if north's got the king? Ah, then he'll be in trouble. Uh, I play the queen, what will he do? Let's see what happens there. Maybe I could get three tricks from diamonds rather than two. Spades, well, I'm only going to lose, well, I'm not going to lose any spades, am I? I'll play the ace of spades, then I can trump any more. But that won't get me any extra tricks in spades. It just means that I can stop them from getting any winners themselves. Hearts is looking great. The only card of importance I'm missing here is the king of hearts. I've got the ace and the queen, the jack, the ten, the nine, the eight and the seven. This is looking good. Maybe I could win all six of those hearts that I've got. Mm. Well, the way I'll do it is getting over into dummy and leading a heart and playing either the queen, the ten and the, or the nine, because they're all equivalent, and hoping that north has got the king. If south has got the king of hearts, well, I'll lose that. But I'm hoping to make at least five heart tricks. So here's my plan. When I can, as soon as I can, I'll take out trumps, but hopefully leading from the dummy. In fact, now I think about it, I'll lead the jack of hearts. So then if the king is in the right place, I can play the same trick again and keep leading hearts from dummy. Spades, well, if they get led, I'll play the ace. Diamonds are being led now, so we can deal with that and see what happens with the king of diamonds. And then I can try the club to see if I can make that queen. I'm hopeful. Here we go. Let's see what happens. This is in real time now, so I, this is me making all the plans that I've just been talking about. Takes a while, but you've got to make the plan right at the beginning. Don't play a card straight away. No, I'm not gonna play the nine, don't worry. 
Yes, either the jack or the queen, it doesn't really matter. Ha! The king's in the right... Oh, wait a minute. Does that help? Let's stop for a moment. Have I actually achieved anything there? North did the right thing in sacrificing his king. Think of it this way. His king has brought out both my jack and my ace. It took five of my points to get rid of his three. Okay, now I win the queen, but who's got the ten? Ah, now, all right, I've been unfortunate that North has got the king, but maybe South might have the ten of diamonds. Yes, I could play this trick again. I could play a, play a diamond from my hand and go all the way around, and hopefully I'll play the nine, and if South has got the ten, I'll win my extra diamond trick. Okay, let's try that. No, I've decided to play the ace first. Oh, I know why. I've forgotten. The first thing you must do is get rid of trumps. So here comes the jack, I'm hoping. And I'm really hoping that North has got the King of Hearts. Here we go. And, oh, okay. Right. Ah, the diamond. Right. Who's got the 10? It can't be North, can it? I can't be that. Oh, this is getting... Oh, wait a minute. So, the King of Diamonds wasn't in a useful place. And the ten of diamonds, diamonds was disastrous. But now eight diamonds have gone. I've got two. There are only three out. Oh, this can't be the worst of all circumstances, could it? No, it couldn't. Oh. Oh, no. I. That is horrible. All right. Well, that's going to get trumped. Right. Well, my last hope now. Well, let's get Trump's, rid of Trump's first. Were you keeping track of Trump's? Are there any Trump's out? No, there wasn't. What was the point of doing that? Still, let's carry on. I think I'm losing the plot here. I might as well play the Ace of Clubs first. By some miracle, maybe the King of Clubs is a singleton. Well, it's a long shot, but at least let's try it. Well, of course it isn't. Okay. Well, my luck's got a turn here. I'm hoping South's got the king. Here go we go with the queen. And I don't believe it. Every single card was in the wrong place. Well, you know what? This is what bridge is like. Sometimes you'll get those sorts of hands. Take heart, if you're playing duplicate bridge, all your opponents had exactly the same problem. But still, it's not a great feeling, is it? I hope you found this useful. Thanks for listening.